Half two. That's a record for us, that. Especially being on a scaffold as well. Right, we've just had a bit of a panic station after dinner. We're getting a lintly before break. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> Wow, that was easy. Oh. Same, same piece of wood as well. Same piece of hardwood. They just shoved that on top of the window and hope for the best. Happy, glorious 13th of May. <laughs> and we're back. Well, yeah, we're back. There was a... <clears throat> I was solo on Saturday, we're now back on Monday, full squad, that's uh, Saturday's job, two courses right across the back, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what the mess is like in there, yeah, I've got to clear the mess up yet, but yeah that's all done, so we've got three done in one day which is a bonus, um, I'm going to mix red again, I'll get that pointed up today, and Obviously we can't go back up to point that, so we'll get that done in red as well. And then we've just picked the two lintels up from Fairwoods and the Gull. And then this will be the last job. But um, the weather's turning. The weather's supposed to turn today, but we've got a bonus day. So I'm going to get these upstairs done and then get this um, this scaffold. Get, get rid of this and we can get on this front. Hello. <coughs> How's your burn? It's improving, isn't it? It's just a nuisance more than anything now. Yeah, just keeping it covered, keep all the shite out of it. So yeah, um, we're going to tackle this. Nice done. And I, I think I've shown you already, five planks today. So we can actually fit, oh, fit both of us and the tools up there today. Uh, which way do you want it, leaning against the pole? Oh, there's a gate. We've got a gate, we've got a gate as well. Yes, we have a gate this time. On the pole there. That's it, there you go. And let's take it down a touch. Right, I'll head up there, let's have a look. If you start getting the stuff out, I'll have a quick look up here and then... Yeah, bear with it. takes me a while to get up ladders. So one time up here, Alex will be doing all the up and down. So we'll be tying the ladder off before we get told off. Through the gate. A bit stiff. Here we are. I love having a decent scaffold. Love it. So much safer. Obviously, it's a bit low, but I want to get the acros in here. Yeah. Uh, so you can see the loose already. You can hear the loose. So I'm going to take them out. I'm probably just going to put one acro in the middle. And see how it sits. I know Colin, the, uh, the other bricklayer we know, he, he just took it out as a triangle and bricked it back up. But we need to come past here to get the upstand of the tray and here. So we've got to go up here. So there's not really much of this pipe left. So uh, maybe just maybe put two in. Oh yeah. I like the dry verge cloak and you use the tyre instead of the uh, concrete board. Yeah, so I'll get up here and we'll, uh, we'll get tracking. Right, same as the back. They've come along to fit the window. And then, same, same piece of wood as well. Same piece of hardwood. To just shove that on top of the window and hope for the best. So this, this must have leaked this. So, um, well, I came up here for a look and I started dem demolition already, so I might as well get my gloves on. Go get my boots on. Yeah, we need, we need a radio too. Let's 
try that again with press record. Right. It's still a big long speech. And it's not, I didn't press record. I'm going to need the mics up here, Al. Yeah. Yeah, it's too windy. I'll get it back to you when I get mic'd up. So, I'm going to put the strong boy in here onto this course here. One course up off the scaffold. And then we can get it in here. And uh, I've made an executive decision. We're only taking two courses out. Because the upstand's only 115. We'll be able to get up over the top and tuck underneath this overhang on the block work. So it's a bit less brick work to take out. We're just taking two out. Yeah? Yeah. Well, there's plenty of room, isn't it? Can you put that on, please? Are you filming? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Um, please bear with us while we have this technical issue. Let's see if it all works. It's all switched on. Let's see if it pops the camera. You're not best doing it while it's not filming. Right. Right. We're back with the microphone now. And I've just noticed that um, Justin Britt Wright's got the uh, DJI Mic 2. What, um, uh, it's a be, be a good buy that. Right, it keeps flicking on and off, so we'll see how we go here. Yeah, we're going to take two out and we're going to tuck underneath this course of block which overhangs the original cavity tray, which actually goes absolutely nowhere. I don't know why they put the cavity tray in and not bother with the lintel. So, yeah, basically, we've only got to take out one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven more bricks. We'll put two strong boys and acros in because although there's not a lot up there, we don't want anything anything dropping on us. I don't think, mind you, it's, it's, it's suppose it's supporting all that, isn't it? It's not supporting the roof; it's just supporting the end of the tiles and the, clo and the cloaking. So yeah, I'm gonna drink my coffee. Nice and easy to clean, aren't they? And then, um, no, we're going to get this prop in. I'm going to drink my coffee, get this prop in, and then we'll crack on. This one next because we can't put that one in yet. This should be enough, right? Yeah. Tie it in. Hmm? Tie one in. Tie one in. Upside down. This way? Yes. Won't go in the other way anyway, will it? Oh, yeah. You have to do that with it, Al. Go in an angle like that. Not with that, but with the blade, put it all a bit bigger. I think that's the brick. Is it? I think so. Isn't it? Are you? Oh. This is in the way. Yeah. 
Oh, is he going to sit in there? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, that's it. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Okay, there you go. Our first, um, <coughs> I say ours, I say my first mishap. I've um, miscalculated here. I could take another course out. If you don't have to, though. Mm. Yeah, I've miscalculated here. I would have been better with the scaffold higher and the little acros, little acros, but I thought we would have got, got away with it. But um, <clears throat> no, I should have got up here with the tape measure. Always pays to check. So basically the strong boy where it is, is too high. We don't, <clears throat> the strong boy goes on the acro, but we need the acro up there. So the strong boy sits on the, the top part of the acro. So, as the, um, the scaffold is proper solid and it's, it's braced, we're going to double up the plank on, along this along here and we're just going to put the props in there and put them in loose because they're not actually holding that brickwork up, they're just stopping anything loose falling down. So uh, that's the plan. So we're going to whip these out and go off here. Right, we went for option C. So we've got the strong boy there to spread the weight over the two planks. And um, we've just got that tightened up very, very lightly. There's no, there's, you're not pushing, you're not lifting any weight up. There's, it's probably holding about 12 bricks. So um, yeah, we just, just proceed with caution. Keep an eye on everything, keep watching everything. So I just need to take this brick out now and I should be able to get behind that brick with the cavity tray so we can leave these two in, so that's supported well. And then we'll do, go down the other and do the same, take that one out. But I think we'll have to take the one above out so that there'll be a bit less support in there, but we'll, we'll get another acro in there. And that end there that's gonna be holding more weight will be on the tube. This is close to a tube as well anyway, but <clears throat> this is safe enough. This is not the way we wanted to do it, but this is the way it's, uh, it's just, um, it's happened. So um, I want to get this one out and then going down that end and getting those ones out. Those two are going to drop out when I knock those two. So uh, yeah, let's get down there.
Mic check. One, two. Whatever it is. There it is. There you go. Make sure you clip it out. Yeah. There you go, we're out. There's a bit further a bit more come up that side than this side, but we'll sort it. So I'm just gonna get the hoover on, get the lintel on, get the tray cut and then go for a break. We're um we're doing okay so far. Just gotta be careful going up and down the ladder because it's moving the scaffold a bit. Which uh, worries me, but um Everything's still sound and in position. So yeah, let's get this hoovered out and then um, get this get next stage. There it is, 150 each side, 12 is a window, 15 under the lintel. Then we just need to get some insulation behind that, and then we can tuck the cavity straight up under that lip there and stick it at this end, and same at the other end. So, um, yeah, looking good. So the plasterboard's knocked out of the way, so we know that's going to go back on, so we'll just wait for the mix now. With it being so small, we'll just move it out of the way. I don't think that's enough. I'll make you a bit more if I need to. How are you going to get the colour right? It's about like, about three, I was measuring by like the grooves. Well actually I'll keep a little bit to one side to point over if we, so it all matches. Right, yeah. I've mainly done that now so we can get this tray in and get the lintel put on. Put the lintel on, get the tray on, then we'll go for break. Okay. Right, could you do the bloody plank back up now? Pardon? Could you do the plank back up now? Tell you what, let's have a tidy up. We'll get the plank back up and I'll set the plank up so I can stand on it. Right now? Yeah, get all the shit out of my way. I'm falling, I'm falling over myself here. Right. Um, I might use that for packers. That was on top of the window. That's what they put on top of the windows, when they fitted the windows. Red. 
Oh, it, oh, it fades. I put like three quarters in for of a blue bucket. Okay. Is it recording? Is it recording? Right. Is Vernon on yet? No idea. Probably. Oh. We're getting there though. Alex just knocked us up a small hand mix. Let's get this lintel in. We're getting a lintel in before break. <laughs> That's a first. Got to wrap it under like that. And back. And just get the tape measure, mate. There is the tape. In the bucket. I've got 160 mil. I've got a hundred I've got a hundred and five. Hundred and five? Yeah. Yeah, I've got a hundred. Oh. oh. What have you got now? Bring mine. Now is 130. 140. 135. Okay, now uh, get a get a brick. Make sure we're in the right position with it. Go on, you need one as well. Make sure you back about 8 mil off the front. Tap it right back. Tap, keep going back. Push the brick against the back of the lintel. You can see, I'm, that, see, see that? That's what you're after, about that. So we measure it, even though we've got a crappy brick. That's 20 mil. Mil. Okay. Now we need to get the insulation in. What a nail. It's, it's um it's sitting quite steady that. I think it'd be alright. About ten bricks go on it. It's not top heavy, is it? So um we need 120 mil strips. Try and keep it as straight as you can. Thank you. Let's go with the time lapse for this, mate. Ooh, three percent. There you go. We're going for break now. Lintels in, trays in. So we just need to fettle it now. It needs trimming back. It needs propping, and it needs sealing. But it's nice though because we've got nice to get it underneath that block. Nice, nice lip underneath, and um, we'll silicon the ends. And everything's still standing at the moment. <laughs> Everything will still be standing at the end of the day. And when we build this, we're going to pack tight over the window and pack this with slate. Because when you're knocking them bricks, you feel a whole pipe moving both skins. Because it's um, it's so fragile, this lime mortar. So yeah, um, yeah, 10 o'clock. We're doing well. Feels good. So um, yeah, let's go and have a break and get this thing on charge. Hopefully, um, this thing's helping with the wind because it's very windy up here, as you can see by those trees. So yeah, luckily. Our scaffold's nice and solid, so nothing's moved. 
this one was loose anyway but that's getting packed and we packed down onto the window I'm going to just point that last bit in red as long as we've got enough red left over and um, this one here I'm going to put slate, slate, slate so it's packed up proper so um, yeah the tray's in lintels in, tray's in insulated, insulated behind the cavity behind the lintel don't know if you can see in there or not and um, I've just got to nick, knock me mortar up and get these, what is it? How many have we got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 bricks. Like I say, we don't usually take, only take two out, but it, we had room because it's only because it's not wide. We, didn't have, we have a small upstand. Like on the 2700 window, that upstand was double the size. So that would have gone right up past them bricks. So you would have had to take that course out. It's all about just making it as easy as you can for yourself. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get, um, get myself on a bit of a hop up because um, I've made all my mistakes on this scaffold. We're pricing the same job down the road, so we're going to get the scaffold different. I'll be getting the scaffold at least one, two, three, four, five, at least five courses higher, so I'm level with the window. I was trying to fit these in, but we'll just get smaller acros on that job. Hire a couple of these little ones. So yeah, I'm going to get myself set up, knock this more truck and get this bit working. Right, we've just had a bit of a panic stations after dinner because the weather, the weather, the wind has started sagging and it just kept going and going. The more I packed off it, the more it bent. So um, that means that wind has got no reinforcing in it. So Alex managed to get into the loft. It's got like a loft hatch there. And uh, we've got this in here, propping up this, the actual frame now. So the frame's propped and we're propping off the top of the frame. So now, last one, two, three, four, five, six. Just get that last, last bit points as well, just to match it all. This is um, this isn't doing anything now. It's, it can... Also, I've got slate to go in there to pack that loose brick up, and then um, get cracked off. And the plan is, once we've done here, is head off to St Helens to Hughes Grey to get the rest of the bricks for the porch that we didn't get enough of last time. So, um, so uh, I'll put in time lapse for a bit, and I'll film towards the end. Shameless, 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 shameless
Let's try that again. There you go. All the brick working. We use standard cement in the end because we're running short of red. So um, Alex mixed standard cement and mixed a small mix of the darker red. So it all, so it all matches. So um, yeah, I'm going to go over this and finish it all off. And we're going to finish early. What time is it, Al? About three o'clock. Happy days, three o'clock. Straight to uh, St. Helens for these bricks. Two o'clock. Oh, two o'clock, even better. <laughs> so we're probably just going through St. Helens just at school run time when the traffic is busiest, but it's better then than not at all. So yeah, let's get the rest of this blasted in and um, get tidied up. There you go, what's the time? Half past nine. Half two. That's a record for us that, especially being on a scaffold as well. And having a little, having to... Hiccup, to collapse some window. And a potential hiccup of uh, running out of red dye. Yeah. We're over the mould, didn't we? Yeah. Just uh, powered on. Just wants a little bit of fettle in there. A bit of dye in there. So, um... It's getting rendered anyway, so... Yeah, it's getting rendered. Um, I've done obviously the repair and I've just I've patched with the alarm box as well, just so, so it looks pretty. So, um, that's better, isn't it? It's better if you hold the mic by your mouth instead of down by the camera. Yes. So anyway, I'm going to hand you over to my glamorous assistant I'm going down. I'm self-employed, you know. Tidying up. I'm not an assistant anymore, I'm self-employed. <laughs> It's not, that's nothing to be proud of. It's crap beats, beats being a glamorous assistant. We are a glamorous assistant. Well, anyway, that is the end of probably the easiest lintel we've ever done. I'm actually upset that Dad worked on a Saturday because I've been enjoying, I've been enjoying this so far. The, the, that window lintel and this lintel, I've really enjoyed them. So now I've missed out on possibly the only lintel jobs I've enjoyed so much. At least you're going to get to work on the crap one with soldiers on it. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. But, obviously, it's, this this will be the end of the video, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. Usual song and dance. It's a uh, good way to support the channel. And, yeah. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex with a series of fortunate events with our lintels and we will see you in the next one.